Hey guys, it's Jacob and Andrew. And Andrew, what are we doing today? We're gonna ring muscle ups today. You guys ask for it, we deliver. <laughs> okay, so you got some cool drills. Yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, how to execute the ring muscle up itself. How to, some of you guys that haven't got one yet, what kind of drills you can do to get one possibly uh, after this video. And then you guys that can do ring muscle ups, how to improve your ring muscle ups to make it a little bit more efficient, a little faster in competition and not tire out so fast. Cool, let's cool. get started. So guys, the first drill that we're gonna talk about today for you guys that maybe haven't got a muscle up yet or still really trying to work on making them a little bit better is the turnover drill. So we're gonna go from easiest to hardest. So the first one we're gonna do is actually feet stay on the ground. So what I have Jake have here is a set of low rings, and you may have to adjust heights based on your, your preference and your body type, but he's gonna keep his heels on the ground, he's gonna lower himself, and I'm actually gonna have him stay in a nice hollow position. So if you guys can see from the side, we're gonna keep a nice hollow line from shoulder down to heel, and he's gonna work on pulling to the sternum and turning over and through the rings into a dip position. So he's gonna pull, turn over, right? He can even keep his feet on the ground if you're, some of you guys are a little bit, you know, a little less uh, strong here, a little, little strength issue. He can keep the heels on the ground. We're gonna do two more reps for me, Jake. Now, other thing I want you to notice as I come this way is when he pulls, right, we're a stronger pulling position with the palms facing, you know, towards his chest, right? So they're, they're rotating at the ring. So if you watch the rings, they're gonna open and close, right? And then he's gonna keep the elbow nice and tight to the sides and squeeze the rings down, right? So that's the ring turnover drill with feet on the ground. The next drill is progressively a little bit harder from the feet on the floor turnover drill. We're gonna actually use a box for this one and this is gonna be the box turnover drill which is gonna simulate us moving the feet behind us and getting into a dip position and you guys can even practice the dip on the actual ring. So we have a small box for Jake here. We're gonna set the feet on top of the box and I want his hips right under the rings so that his rings are relatively straight underneath the, the straps here. And we're gonna try to break the hips. I'm gonna let him lower his hip and he's gonna hip extend, meaning he's gonna drive his hips up towards the rings and then pull and work on that turnover we just established in the first drill. So he's gonna hip extend, pull, and you can see the feet come off the box. All right, so we'll do another one. Feet on the box, you can see the hip break, the hip extends up, aggressive, and then he sits through. Again, notice the ring. The rings turn, so if you see this from another view, the rings turn as his hips come up, right, and into his uh, dip. Let's do that again. Pull the chest, hips, and the feet come off, and there's his dip position, right? This is the ring turnover from a box drill, so we'll show it one more time. Nice. Now that we've established the turnover drill, we're gonna now break into the higher rings, which we're gonna learn how to kip on those. We actually did a video for bar muscle up, the ring muscle is kind of the same. Obviously the rings swing and move around a lot so we, we need to really focus on the hollow arch position. So what we're gonna do to that is practice kipping swings on the rings. So Jake is gonna jump up into a hollow position and initiate with the feet coming back and he's gonna just do a little build up. So he's gonna start very small and we're looking for the rings not to move around a ton, right? We're trying to push forward, pull back on the rings so you get a little tension on those rings and you can see that nice hollow position in the back into that nice uh, arch position as well, back and forth, right? It's not an L, we're not just lifting the hips, we're actively pulling down on those guys into our kipping ring swings. Now that we've established our kipping ring swing, which is the basis of our muscle up, we're now gonna start working on pulling the rings to the chest. Much like we did with the turnover drill, now our feet are obviously off the ground and we've just established the, the swing itself. So what we're gonna do is a kipping ring to chest drill. Jake's gonna jump up, establish his hollow position, initiate into that nice arch position, get a few kips going, and we're almost like a, a kipping chest bar pull up. We're trying to establish the timing of the pull, and you can notice the hips, right, raise up, and he can almost see his feet in his peripheral on the way up, which is important in our next drill. That's the kipping ring to chest. That was very nice, that was good. Rest. Before Jake gets into our, our actual muscle ups, guys, I wanna show one drill that really helps kinda of show you guys how to use your hips and glutes to fire that, that top position before the turnover. So what we're gonna do is a very simple, aggressive glute bridge drill, aggressive hip extension drill. So Jake's gonna simulate holding onto the rings, 
right? His knees are at his chest, so his hips are obviously down on the ground. And what I'm gonna have him do is be an aggressive hip extension and land into a very nice glute bridge. So he's gonna drive up, hold, and then back down, right? Knees to chest, and extend, back down. And we'll do one more, big extension, glute bridge, and down. So that is the glute extension, right? Hip extension to a glute bridge drill that'll really establish the top position before you turn over. Andrew's a freaking tyrant. <laughs> I have. Again, every time we do these how-to videos on bar muscle-ups or muscle-ups, I for some reason have a rip in my hand. It doesn't look like a rip. I know I'm probably trying to be a real big girl right now, <laughs> but that hurts. Wait till you have the towel between your feet. Really bad. So if I wince or look like I'm in pain, it's because he's working me hard. So now we're gonna put it all together, you guys. We're gonna go into a hollow kip position, right? When Jake jumps up, he'll be in his hollow position, initiate his kip. He's gonna then violently extend the hip after a few kip swings, and then hit his turnover drill on the high rings. There's his turnover, down into his kip, hollow arch, hollow arch, hips, and there's the turnover, right? So you guys working on all those different drills that we did, well, this is putting them all together on top of the rings. Kipping swing, hollow arch, and there's the hip extension over through the turnover drill. Putting them all together to get your normal muscle up. So now you guys got your muscle ups. How do we improve our muscle ups? Well, we can add the towel to the feet, much like the bar muscle up drills we've done. So we're gonna add the towel to the feet on this drill. A Couple of keys to success here, right? We wanna think about squeezing the feet together, squeezing the glutes in the back in our hollow arch position, and then also visualizing seeing the feet on the way up. If we can raise the level of the hips, we don't have to pull that half of our body up, right? Because our kip is doing that for us. So we want to be able to see our, our toes before we sit up. So Jake's going to go into his hollow arch position. There's his muscle up. You can see his legs stay nice and straight. Toes are together. There's no awkward uh, one leg higher than the other. And you can see the raise of his hips, the level of his hips, because that aggressive kip and that aggressive hip extension to the top allows him to sit through on the muscle up. So use the towel. It helps with your efficiency. It helps keep you guys tight through your kip. It's a great drill. Another great drill, guys, for some of you that are, are proficient at the, mar, uh, the ring muscle up and want to improve some efficiency is working on your overall pulling strength and positional strength. One way we can do that is obviously working the strict end of the movement. So in this case, strict muscle ups. Great way to work on overall pulling strength and then obviously your sit through on the turnover side of it. So Jay's gonna jump up. Here you will be using a full grip. Nice dead hang, right? Feet together, and he's gonna pull himself up, get into a nice hollow arch position. At the top, there's his dip, come back down, right? Sit into the bottom, arms extended, pull. There's his strict muscle up. Great pulling drill in order to work on your turnover and overall pulling strength. Another great drill, guys, to work on the overall turnover drill for some of you newbies and some of you guys that are just working on positional stuff is the banded turnover drill. So Jake's got a couple of rings hooked up to bands, hooked up to the pull-up rig. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna sit on his butt. And this is also a great way to work on strict muscle-ups for some of you guys that just saw the, the video on the strict muscle-up as well to work on the turnover. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna pull to his sternum and then sit through and turn fast. And you notice this is a great way to work on the turn of the ring. So he's gonna come back up, right? Notice one thing as he holds here, right? The palms are, for, are towards each other at the top and that allows him to pull to the chest much easier but then he's got to open the rings and squeeze the shoulders tight and the elbows tight and the rings tight to the side so that he's in a nice dip position. Let's do one more Jake. Down to the sternum and sit through. So this is the banded ring turnover drill and it's a great way to work on overall pulling strength and also positional strength on the turnover. So I, I left my shirt in the other room. No, he just never has a shirt, that's a lie. So, what we do today? Today we worked on ring muscle ups. We showed you guys how to, one, execute a ring muscle up if you guys haven't done that. Based on the different drills that we broke it down for you guys, we did the ring turnover drill from the floor, from the box, and then showed you guys how to do ring swings, kipping uh, ring to chest, and then putting it all together into the ring muscle up itself. We also showed you guys how to improve your efficiency on those with the towel drill, don't, don't forget the towel drill, how to improve your turnover speed and things like that. And also make sure that you guys work on your hip extension, obviously into the rings. Yeah. So if you get a muscle up, if you get one, tag me in it or Andrew, go get it, go get it, go get it. Go get it.